what's up YouTube Spike Man Dan coming at you again with the master plan so it turns out that WK gave me a nice little tip on how to drill out the jet carb on your CT100U uh, sport and it turns out we have several different ways of going about this and we're gonna see which one I go with stick around and stay tuned Okay, so on to what I've got going on here. I've got the Coleman CT100U's carburetor broke down right here before you. Along with the uh, new drill bit that you get from Hot Rod Mini Bikes to improve that jet right there. And make sure that you understand that sad part is the jet the inside is an emulsion tube the jet screws in from the side and the fuel goes in through the jet up the emulsion tube yeah that little center piece right there the outside jet screws in from the side and goes up the emulsion tube. So lead, the emulsion tube, I've already pulled out the jet. The emulsion tube does not come out for me. I don't know if it comes out for anyone else, but like I said, it's all experimental. But yeah, that little guy right there is your jet. And that's going to be what you're going to want to use. This drill bit right there on that little tiny jet stick around for part two all right so welcome to the next video segment as you can see sorry if i'm a little crashed down but we have the uh the main jet we got the drill bit and to carefully absolutely carefully as possibly do this thanks to uh a subscriber on my channel who I mentioned in the beginning of this video you're gonna take a pair of pliers and firmly grip as hard as you can on the drill bit with the drill bit facing up and you're gonna just set the drill bit into the jet until you can feel it stop and just slowly screw that sucker on through the metal's so soft, it will actually drill its way all the way through and you just go over a couple of times. That's how you prevent breaking the drill bit inside of the jet. So, bam, your jet should slide up and down that drill bit just to accurately let people know and yourself know that that jet is accurately drilled out and clean. And all you have to do is reinstall it, and there you go. You now have a modified jet for your CT100U, thus making it a sport. And um, again, thank you to the subscriber commenting on my videos. I believe his name was uh, WK, or vice versa, KW, I don't know. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's WK. And I thank you for watching my videos and giving me these little tips and tricks on how to drill out the jet because now my mini bike will be that much better and thank you all hey don't forget to share these videos like and subscribe for uh, more videos like this stay subscribed don't forget the like button and uh, Spike Man Dan we're gonna get back to you with more Coleman CT100U upgrades Okay, so on with the rest of this mini bike. You see that little tube coming out of the valve head right there? I'm gonna have to eventually buy a, a filter for that, which I could probably <clears throat> twist this and have another filter at the very end of this tube sticking downward or preferably 
where I'd like to have it facing slightly up and out. That's probably where I'm going to have it. So I got this filter sticking out and a nice another little matching one to go with that one sticking right there, but it's going to be a very tiny little one. And that'll complete the uh the ported jet, which I have just got done doing with this tiny little drill bit right here that comes with the uh, hot rod mini bike air filter upgrade package. So that's going to give me a little more fuel and a lot more performance along with the header pipe and the uh, air filter upgrade. Um, also, just a uh, heads up, people, on the stock CT100U, this little plastic thing back here, the spacer, the plastic spacer in between the engine and the carburetor, just to give you a heads up, you can drill that out just a hair a bit more, which I plan on doing, because I saw the size, you could put the spacer on without the carburetor, and you can run your finger up and down the spacer and the block itself. And you will notice the hole on the intake of the block is slightly a hair bigger than what the hole is on the intake spacer. So yeah, consider that for another upgrade tip. That's something I just found out. Spike Man Dan coming up with the uh, tips and tricks and coming at you with the master plan to make your little engine a little more faster. And don't forget to share my videos. Tell your buddies, tell your friends. Hey, check out Spike's page, you know. Anything that helps out. Because chances are, if you have one of these little CT100Us and you want the most out of it, I'm the guy you want to see. So yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe, share, and tell your friends. My name is Spike Man Dan, as always, coming with the master plan. Thank you for watching. Alright, let's see how it runs after the jet has been ported. Yeah, I'd say that's a lot more power added. Golly, that's a throaty sounding motherfucker.